Alrighty, now we've done the site audit, time to do the position tracking. This is the juicy stuff, which the clients love. So, add a quick landscape, hence the landscape tab. This will give you an idea of where your keywords are sitting. These are all the keywords that you put in. Obviously, it's always good practice to chuck in new keywords as you discover them. Do a bit of an audit every couple of weeks, just making sure that you've got everything that they have found. Best way to do it, you go to Google Analytics, jump in, this will give you an idea of all the different keywords that they're showing up for. Another option is Search Console. Once you jump into Search Console, you might be able to have Diesel West, there he is. And then you've also got the option of Acquisition. Search Console there, but you've also got all traffic and you can look at the different keywords that they're coming through. So if we go into Diesel West, there it is. I also want to make sure that the code's working. Oh, it's you talking to me. You watch that later. <laughs> all right. So, as you go through here, it gives you an idea of organic search. This is through Google Analytics. Most of the time, we'll just give you one, which is the not provided. It's usually just Diesel West. But, if that doesn't work, you want to go into Google Search Console. You always want to go into one that actually has the word search clicks. There we go. Sometimes we get two properties. Looks like the www one is the right one. The other one didn't have anything, so don't use it. This also gives you an idea why we always do mobile now, so the majority of Google's crawl requests to your site will be made using a mobile crawler. So, that's been happening since September. All right, that's enough of me waffling on. So this will give you an overview of all the clicks that are happening. These are all 100% accurate, because it's from Google's own search console. This will give you an idea of the page errors and how many valid pages there are. So like we showed in that earlier one, if you're going to site audit, and you're not quite sure if SEM Rush is telling the truth, you jump in here, have a quick look, open the report. You might have one page with an error, so you go into the report. Okay, what's this page? I'll go down. It's a submitted URL. It's a crawl issue. Which page is it? Ah, it's the 404 page. Not a big deal because you don't really want your 404 to be crawlable. And then you just fill it out fix. That's fine. Anyway, going back, you can go into performance. Performance will give you not only the amount of clicks he's had in the last three months or last seven days, which you can change or custom. Also look at all the queries that, that people have searched. So these are all the things that people have typed into Google in order to get a click across the website. These are real ones that have happened in the last three months. As you can see, his industry is not huge. He's got like 11 clicks in three months. Sweet of all. But the good news is he's showing up and being clicked on the non-branded search. So this is where you're going to go through and go, all right, I want to export this data. Download a CSV or Google Sheet. I just sometimes do Google Sheets because it's a bit easier. And then once you go through the 621, you really don't want to go past the 25 or 50 mark because most of the comments start, start to get really irrelevant. If we go to all 500, you'll see why. So things like mobile for water drive servicing, oil change, like it's getting really specific but you don't know if he actually does all this stuff. He's a mobile diesel mechanic. He doesn't just do you know, all these other things. He might not just be a Yanmar engine, but if someone goes by, we'll get a better idea of those and we can start hanging this with that. So, like I just did before, I've exported all of this. I'll make sure that I at least have these top ones, maybe the top 20. Go back in. Go to his overview or rankings. You can actually add the keywords here. Go like that. And these are all going to be non branded. So I can go comment on brand. Just hitting the download key and then control base. 
Or you could have just done this and <laughs> put the tags for all of them. Uh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> That's the easy way to go. So, now I've added those keywords. If you put the same keyword in twice, it's fine. It picks it up. Now, this is the interesting thing. It automatically will pick up which ones have been picked up already. And then sometimes the other ones will take some time. Sometimes they never show up because they haven't got enough search traffic volume or they haven't even appeared in the top 100. So don't always think, oh, just because there's a dash, it's not good. So going up to the top, the good news is he's showing up number one for his brand, number two for Mobile, Mechanic, Mobile Diesel Mechanic Perth, which is really good, number two for Diesel West for the, for the map. So that little thing means it's a map result. So he's coming at one and two for that. Mobile Diesel Mechanics 6, when you do it with just those three words. Number 10 for Diesel Mechanics, so not for Mobile. Diesel Mechanic Perth, 11, and so forth and so forth. So this is a good chance to have a look at these kind of branded keywords, or non-branded keywords which are more service related. Having a look at that landing page. So the one thing to keep in mind is that Google's now really looking at which pages rank for the certain services, it do, does now know that you don't just go straight to the home page. So as we grow, as we grow it, we can start looking at all right, four wheel drive mechanic, four wheel drive service, four wheel drive diesel. There's a lot of four wheel drive keywords in this list. So let's look at getting that up and putting a landing page. So it's not just a blog, but an actual landing page is probably a good start. And then once we do that, you do a bunch of blogs that link back to that landing page. Sweet, so that's your overview. In here, you've also got the chance to type in some suggested competitors, but you usually ask him, hey, who's your top three competitors? I always keep it to three, because if you go any further, it's not really worth it. Another option is they don't know, they've usually got one or two, which way they really want to beat. Always keep in mind, you want to make sure they're actually within the same scope, so you're not comparing, you want to be comparing apples with apples, not, you know, like a Burger King, McDonald's versus you know one guy who's got one single burger chain. It's the same thing with all trades. There's a lot of guys out there that go, oh, I want to be like Jim's mowing or Jim's plumbing. You're never going to beat that because they've got hundreds of locations and heaps of money in the bank when it comes to doing marketing. So make sure that they're selecting someone who's on the same level playing field and has the same amount of money to spend. Otherwise, it's just not going to work. So as you go through here, you can do all these different things. So you can like review based on all the different SERP features, tags, you can type in like branded, not branded in order just to look at that. And you can also go through and search just things like diesel to see what comes up. Another way to look at all your ranking distributions, it'll give you an idea of how many keywords show up in the top three, top 10, top 20, top 100. Top three is where you want it, top 10 is still good. Rankings, this gives you an idea of all of the actual keywords we've got here and what the rankings have been. So this is saying all the different rankings for all these different words. This here gives you the trend. Hasn't had enough time to analyze it yet because it's only one day. But as it grows, it will show that it goes up and down based on the Google's crawling. Google's not one of those things where it just stays at number one, stays at number two for a week, and then waits a week and waits a day. It can go day to day, hour to hour, month to month, Never, you never know when it's going to change. Now, this gives you an idea of the landing pages. Based on what I was saying before, you can focus on other keywords in order to get into that same one. So, as you can see, Bobcat Repairs is now coming up for this one. It's probably because the word Bobcat and Repairs hasn't really been said too much in Perth, so that's a good thing. So, it's also good to go with those obscure uh, keywords, but keep in mind there's like bugger all traffic. And so, this one here versus this one here, versus this one here. A lot more traffic. Competitors discovery, if you don't know who your competitors are, these will give you a rough idea of who they are off the top, but then you really want to go down the line and say, yeah, this is a real, like Gumtree's not a bloody competitor. Neither is Facebook. Like, <laughs> they don't sell mobile mechanics. So you can get rid of them, you just basically blacklist it. So get rid of Seek, get rid of a few others, and then they're all gone. One flare as well, it's just a directory. Sweet. As you go through, you can add more locations. So if he just wants to focus on Bayswater or something like that, that's where you can add this 
device and locations. You do like mobile, Bayswater and mobile, big park. Featured snippets, not too much to worry about as a tradie, but if you go for the bigger companies, this is where you'll look at featured snippets. So these are things like if you type in like a knowledge panel, so like how to bake a cake, and then you get this little thing at the top. These are recipes, or they're in here with actual featured snippets, and then you get the featured video, and then bang, you're into the real stuff. Cool, and that's pretty much it. So keep in mind, you've got all these different alerts you can set up. This will give you a quick snapshot of the locations. So you can add more there. You can add your competitors, look at the different types that you're looking at, and just making sure that you're uh, keeping up to date with the keywords. Almost similar to Google Ads, you just want to make sure that they're very relevant, they're on point, and they're on trend with what you're trying to do.